I was 17 years old and had been spending more and more time at Crack Square in downtown Jerusalem, losing any interest in family, friends, or doing anything productive with my life. Hurt and exhausted, I had just been in one of those frequent street fights which usually comes from boredom. My nose was broken and I needed medical attention. I had no insurance and definitely no idea how to go about finding a doctor. I felt lost and all alone in a cold night in the middle of town. Suddenly, one of the persistent social workers that I had often seen prowling the streets and that I had tried to stay far away from came up to me and asked if I needed help. I begrudgingly went along with her. She took me to the nearest hospital and stayed with me till dawn when we finally left. During that time, the social worker never mentioned religion, getting clean, seeing a therapist, finding school, or many of the other things adults were always telling me. Instead, she showed me kindness and patience. The next day, I visited the Crossroads Center. It was nothing that I had expected. There were computers, a TV, snacks, schedules of cool classes and trips. No matter how hard I looked, I could not find the catch. I even overheard a social worker on the phone arguing on another teen's behalf. When a few hours later, I got to see the social worker from the night before. We continued talking where we had left off. We spoke of the fights on the streets, the tension in my house growing up, the numerous high schools, and the drugs I had turned to. At the completion of the hour, she had informed me that we had just had a therapy session and suggested that we continued them weekly. Surprisingly. I did not mind being duped. This was the first therapy session I had not felt like running from. I had reached a crossroads. This was the beginning of my long road back to humanity from frustration with my life, troubles everywhere I turned, drugs, and anger at the world. After a lot of work in therapy, I finally put down the drugs and alcohol for good. I reconciled with my family and began taking control of my life. I went to weekly classes at the center where I was tutored for both my GEDs and SATs. I began my first few college classes online using the center's computers and eventually graduated from a well-known university. The compassion shown to a lost, injured boy after a street fight on a cold night in Jerusalem has been the beginning for my whole new life.